Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in this stable version of Microsoft Edge, if we head up to our top left hand side of the browser, we get our tab actions menu. And this is a feature you can enable and disable in the settings, as I've mentioned previously. And this is what the tab actions menu looks like in the stable version of Microsoft Edge. Now, as I have posted in a previous video, which I'll leave linked down below and in the end screen, Microsoft is working on a revamped tab actions menu uh, in the preview versions of the browsers and in Edge Canary 128, which is the latest preview version, as I've posted previously, um, when Canary was still on 126, uh, the tab actions menu got revamped. And this is what it looks like currently in preview. And we can see things looking a lot different to what they um, they do in the stable version. And, yet, and as you can see, this is quite large compared to what it looks like in stable. Now, as I mentioned in that previous video, which I said would be down below and in the end screen, I was kind of on the fence with this because it was quite large. And besides that, although it is quite large, um, it did collate everything into one convenient menu and opens up everything in one menu where in the stable, if you click on different options, it can open up different components in new tabs and so on in the browser. So that's what I like about this. Although it's quite large, um, you can search through your tabs, you can organize your tabs. If you have any tab groups, you can see them in this menu recently closed and you can also turn on vertical tabs. So you get the idea. Now, although it was quite large uh, in my previous video I posted, just to let you know that it seems now, and as we can see, that the tab actions menu is now more compact in Edge Canary. And if I just head over to a screen grab I took from that previous video, this is what it looked like. Um, this is what it looked like when I posted previously. It came almost right down to the bottom here, maybe a centimeter in this image away from Explore Stories and more. And I'm recording this on exactly the same device I did when I posted this first video. So it's exactly the same screen ratio, everything. So we can see it comes down quite a little bit more. And if we head back to what it looks like currently, we can see here that it's not as low as it used to be which I think is a nice move because it, it was quite large and you can't resize this at all. This is how it is. Now the width looks exactly the same, but as mentioned, um, the, the so-called height of it has been shortened. And I think that's a nice move because I did think it was quite big and in your face, as I've mentioned previously. So it's going to be interesting to see where this lands up because as mentioned, this is what it looks like in stable. And this is what it looks like in preview. And it's going to be interesting to see where this um, lands up and if this will actually make its way to stable. I don't see why it won't. But the nice thing is, I think, is that they have reduced the height of that a little bit and just made it a little bit smaller and not so large as it was, which I think is at least a step in the right direction. And um, if I get any more info regarding this feature, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.